Exeter's PowerFoil technology is an incredibly innovative and groundbreaking product that is able to harness artificial lighting to create power, creating a greener solution to consumer electronics. There haven't been that many products with it yet, as it's so new, but they're starting to build a solid lineup of electronics to incorporate their patented technology. At CS this week, I visited their booth and recorded it to share. Specifically, I found out about PowerFoil through Might. Uh, I read right. that okay. uh, Might, Sonos bought Might uh, yep. in 2022 for 100 million, I think. I'm deeply familiar. They talked about a collaboration they had done with Might. I'm yeah. not, they didn't like put many details into it, but okay. I imagine what it was was to power the speakers they have, which yeah. are apparently much more lower power exactly. uh, based than normal speakers. Yeah. Could you a, just talk a little bit about the technology and then maybe a little bit about the Might integration? Yeah, I'm very happy to. Cool. So, PowerFoil is a solar cell. Uh, but it doesn't look anything like solar cells that you may have in mind. So yeah. it's flexible, it can be made in any shape, any texture. So it really has huge design advantages. Mm -hmm. Meaning solar cells before, you know, your pocket calculator was also yep. powered by a solar cell. Yeah, but it didn't look that good, although it worked. Yeah. So you were asking about might. Maybe we move over to the audio yeah. table and we can take a look here. First of all, a good way of understanding how the solar cell works is that we have connected the solar cell uh, with uh, a measurement and a, and a display. So, so right you can, you now, can block it off, right? Exactly. So right now, in indoor artificial light, you get a good charge. But if you cover the solar cell, you know, temporarily you will get no charge, yeah. right? And if you would shine the light from your cell phone... It would get more? It would get more. Oh, okay. So it, Let me try that. it, it helps people understand that Watch even this. though it's called the solar cell, it's actually charging in any lights, also artificial lights. That's cool. So this is something that we use at fairs, but because, uh, the products that you see here come with an app so that the user of the product also gets help to understand, you know, how bright is the light, how much charge do I get, what's my battery level, right. etc. Okay. So here we have three good examples of audio products uh, in within the category. So you have your over-ear headphones, you have your in-ear headphones, and here you have a speaker. So this is the case for the in-ear headphones? Exactly, and then you have them here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But here you have a speaker. So you were speaking about might, and we did indeed show a prototype speaker together with them. Yeah. And you're right, when you design for solar, often what happens, which actually we are very excited about, is that it's a balance between gain and drain. So with the solar cell, you gain energy, yep. but the product also drains energy, it uses sure. energy. So often our customers think through and make smart choices. Okay, the chipset, you know, how much does that need to drain and other component in, mm -hmm. in, uh, in the speaker. And yep. with Mites technology, just like you said, they're able to give really good sound, uh, but with low power consumption. Yeah. So this is a speaker that is already on the market. It's a Swedish audio brand named Urbanista that has made this speaker. Okay. Uh, it's a perfect um, speaker for, you know, for, it's pretty light and yep. easy to carry. And it's also water resistant and it's very sturdy. So you can bring it with you okay. when you're out. It's a consumer product. Yep. And in this case, this is the solar cell that we made for them. So for any customer, we would look together with them. What's the optimal shape? Uh, you know, what, what's the optimal size to yeah. make sure that you have a good use case. Based on like the battery size of it and the actual product size. Exactly. Yeah. So these products do still have batteries, but they're usually smaller and they're rechargeable. So mm -hmm. you will never need to replace the battery. So maybe for example, on one of these, yeah. how long would it take to, if it were at 0% to charge the battery fully with like optimal lighting conditions for the power foil? Yeah, so it's a question we, we get uh, pretty frequently. The thing about solar charging is that you almost need to think about it a little bit differently. If you want to charge it as quick as you can, it's better to plug it in the wall. Sure. But what happens with solar is you never fully run out of charge. So because it's trickle charging all the time, you avoid the situation when you know you pull up your speaker and you're like, ah, now I'm going to use it. Yeah, and, then, and, then doo -doo -doo -doo, and then it's done. Yeah. That never happens with solar. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, these, this product, for example, still has a charge port. So if you were to throw a party over a weekend and you were listening 16 hours, yep at loud uh, volume, yes, that the solar cell wouldn't be enough okay. uh, in indoor light condition. It's also just good in general if you like leave it somewhere over the course of three days when you go back to yeah. use it, it'll keep that charge and maybe get a little more. Exactly. Is there a difference? I mean, because right in here we're getting like not natural UV lighting. Exactly. Is it actually stronger in UV lighting versus this lighting or is it uh, pretty comparable? So this is a really good question and people tend to get very excited about light. It's something with that that catches a lot of interest. So in general, the human eye 
overestimates how much light you get inside and it underestimates how much light you get outside. Yeah. So, you know, on a typical um, sunny day in Vegas, you would have 100,000 lux. And inside the building, I mean, you usually don't have more than 10,000. So yeah. it's really a big difference, yeah. but the eye doesn't so, always catch and, it. And the, well, the retina also yeah, you exactly. know, expands and reduces this. to adjust, right? Yeah. Exactly. So good, like, um, we'd like to, together with our customers and partners like make products where you don't need to change your behavior mm -hmm. but what people tend to get into the habit of doing is just when they're not using it they put it in the window okay. yeah. and Urbanista even made uh, a little stand where you just put the headphones so it looks tidy okay. so that's that's a good place I keep my speaker for example close by the, to the window, window or something yeah. yeah and then it's always ready and then ready. in terms of is there a water in ingress protection rating it is yeah. yeah so you can check the product specification but this one you can even in the, in the rain, promotional and... video they actually drop it in the pool yeah Okay. So you can do that. Yep. Um, some of the other products, the solar cell can take it, but the product may not take it. Yeah, sure. So it depends a little bit on the... Like, I, I would imagine you can't dunk these in water because they have... Exactly. You know, uh, exactly. I, I think you're right. Yeah. But most, yeah, most of these are waterproof because people use them by the pool or something, right? Exactly. So it's like, yeah. Exactly. I have a display over here where we have some more examples of products that are already on the market. Yeah, it'd be cool to see. Uh, yeah. Should we go there? Yeah. yeah. And then in terms of um, Might, do you guys have any official collaboration plan with them or is that just a demo? Uh, so we actually collaborated with Might before they were uh, acquired by Sonos. By Sonos? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so we do have discussions with, with many of the large audio brands around the world, mm -hmm. um, but Might uh, does no longer exist kind of standalone, yeah. so they're part of Sonos. So you would be working with Sonos then? In that case, yeah. So, so any Sonos collaborations plan? Uh, nothing announced. Okay. Uh, right, so on this shelf you will see products that are already uh, available for consumers to buy. Uh, so on the bottom shelf we already discussed these three products. In addition, in the audio category, yeah. Philips launched a sports headphone uh, earlier in 2024. This one to go? Exactly. So cool. it's a sport headphone. Um, it's a great product if you want to try something with powerful. Um, so those are audio products. And then uh, 3M has a couple of hearing protectors. Yep. Uh, we love that collaboration. And these are active hearing protectors then? Yes, they are. Yeah. They are. Yeah. So hearing protectors otherwise would typically use uh, batteries, single yeah. use batteries. And it's both in a nuisance and takes time to exchange them, but it's also a drag on the environment. Yeah. So here, uh, when we make the comparison between the conventional product and our product, savings are really quite large. Yeah. Uh, and it's also like we 3M Pelter has, has a great video where one of their uh, power users, he was explaining to us, he's like, I used to have, you know, these boxes with batteries laying around my car and now I no longer need it. So yeah. it's both more convenient, but also better for sustainability. Yeah. And it's also like the thing you were talking about when you go to use it, it's normally when it's dead, right? So exactly. it avoids that issue. And these guys use it professionally. So yeah. this is for your carpenter sure. or, you know, your um, person fixing the road or, right. you know, all, all different kinds of, of professions so, where you need So it. do you guys have any uh, other planned products that are coming to market soon or are they all uh, something you can disclose? Yeah, exactly. So we did uh, publish a, a, actually a number of press releases just ahead of CES with some new things. Cool. Uh, and then, you know, as soon as our customers are ready to communicate, we communicate. Yeah. But in that space, we very much depend on their schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so yeah, but there's a lot of uh, exciting. Uh, nice. 2025 will be exciting. Cool. Well, uh, Sophie, thanks thanks for all the info. Thank you so Appreciate much for it. stopping by. Uh, very, very cool technology. Cool. Excited to see it more, in more products for sure. Yeah, perfect. Appreciate it. This is a really groundbreaking technology, in my opinion, and I'd really like to see this tech incorporated into things like phone or tablet cases for passive charging. It's a beautifully sustainable solution. Thanks for watching. I'll likely do a video on Sonos' acquisition of Mate soon, which is another pivotal tech advancement. You can check that out here when it's done.